Sitting 44 stories above the sand here in Sunny Isles Beach, the unit I'm going to be showing you today is the true definition of oceanfront living. Unit 4405 has four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, just over 6,600 interior square feet with just under 9,500 total square feet. It also includes an 1,100 square foot four car garage, 1,600 square foot balconies, and the Porsche Design Tower signature pool on the balcony. Asking price, $17.9 million. right off the private elevator. Of course it's private. So it just takes you right off into your room and there's two different elevators. So there's no lines, there's no waiting. And the elevator flies up here. We got up here in like 30 seconds. It took yeah, to get really less, quick. less than 30 seconds. And we're 44 floors up. So on my left, it's gonna be one of the guest bedrooms. We'll start over here, follow me. So it's pretty apparent when you walk in what the main feature of this room is. It's the view. Let's not lie to each other. A little feature that may have skipped your eye is that they have a mirror right by that light stand and it reflects the ocean. So when I walk in, not only do I see inward into the city and the bay, I see the reflection of the ocean. And if I want to see it myself, I just come over here and boom, I just get this ridiculous floor to ceiling view of the open water and it just wraps around and takes you into your ensuite. So coming into the ensuite, you got your walk-in shower and then another floor to ceiling view. And just imagine, you know, washing your hands here, using the bathroom, taking a shower, and you're looking out into the iconic views of Miami. It's, it's amazing. Follow me. Let's continue on the rest of the house. And so off the front door, before we get into the main area, this is where your guests will use the bathroom. It's the half bathroom. So you come into here and this whole place is just lined with finishes. I mean, I just walked up to the toilet and it started sanitizing the sink. Look at the handles, the fixtures, the lights, everything in here is super designed. This place was completely gut renovated. It was actually purchased as a raw unit and it's what you see today. So everything is customized. In the Porsche design tower, you usually have your cars come up the elevator and into your living room. However, this owner decided that he wanted to make it a little bit more private and it actually also helps with the insulation in the property. So follow me in here. This is where your four car garage is gonna be. So you push in, come out. Follow me. So when you come into here, <laughs> This is your four car garage. You can see this panel where the car is sitting on. When it's time to leave, this opens up. The car, you sit in the car, turn it on, it slides out, or you turn it off. You sit in the car, it slides out, and then you go down and you have it on both sides. So we have the Range Rover on one side, the Ferrari on the other side. And you've got that, you got the other two on this side. Now, right now they're using it kind of as storage and they're just putting some extra things on this side, but you do have access. And this is usually in the living room where it would have shown the other units. However, in my opinion, not seeing your garage in your living room is really cool. It's very private and it actually becomes like a showroom. And one, two, three, four, you also have two more downstairs in the building. So you actually have a total of six car garage in this property alone. I mean, what house do you know has a car elevator for four cars? Not many, not many. But follow me back in and let's go take a look at the living room. And I just want to mention real quick, right off the half bathroom, this is where your elevator is. You just click the call button, takes you right up. And this is separate to the elevator that took you into the unit. So now let's walk into the main living space. Take a look. When you walk in, the first feature that you see, this massive TV just on its own little fixture and right under it, Look at that. It got a nice fireplace, a place to lay down, feel that warmth. It's not a real fireplace, but it still gives you that same immersion of having a fireplace. You're surrounded by art. And I just want to mention something. The furniture in here is negotiable if you like it, but the art, that's just too precious. It's going to stay with the owner. But regardless, look at the space that we're in. 
great place to lounge, hang out, watch movies, TV shows. Imagine just sitting here on a Miami night. You got your favorite movie on, look at that, and then just the views, the sky, the water. It's everything that you want. And then we have this like two-story loft style feel. And right off of the TV living room, you got a great, less formal dining, eating area. And while you're sitting here, what are your guests looking at the whole time? The water, once again, and the floor to ceiling windows, it's about 21 feet high in this room of ceilings. And we're in a condo, and you got 21 feet. That's more than most people's homes. Just looking back on this room, you got this space, the dining, entertaining little eating room, then you walk over here, and you got my favorite part of any house. I think you know what it is, the bar. And what do we got in this bar? We're kind of on this side real quick. You got storage over here. You got storage over here, but here you got your wine cooler. It can hold about 100 bottles. It is Mila. Beautiful. And then, like I was saying in the bathroom, the finish is in here. Completely customized. D down to the little finish on the countertop in this bar. Everything was redone. So you got this unique countertop that you're not going to see in any other unit. Replicated on this side. Storage down below. You got another couple wine coolers, ice machines tap machine so you can put some beer on tap i don't think i've ever seen this in a house and then just storage for all the bottles are at the top even this mirror just emphasizes the whole room so this room that's already massive is just reflected to make it even bigger and then of course bar stool seating and this shot right here the bartender's view is just just pepperoni pizza with parmesan cayenne pepper <laughs> i don't know what that was you got these, I'm, I'm just sorry, the, the floor thing, they're making me crazy, these views. And then the last thing I'd like to point out in this room, this light fixture. It's huge, I'm not even sure the camera can capture it. It's like a giant glazed donut made out of luxury crystals. Awesome. So now that I showed you this whole living entertaining space, follow me down, this is where it gets a little bit more intimate. Come this way. We'll pass this for now. Let's start with the kitchen, because I'm just, Really excited to talk about it. So in the kitchen, there's so many features I wanna point out. Let's start with the appliances. So you'll see here, this is not standard. You get two Thermador cook stove tops, right? And if you wanna use the vent, you just click these little circles and boom. So you don't have that big hood vent obstructing your view, getting in the way of your family and your entertaining. It just pops up flawlessly. Look at that, magic. Just give it a quick tap to go back down. You too. And then behind me, here are your fridge and freezer. So over here, we have the freezer on one side, but you just got like a TV right above your Wolf oven. And then another Wolf oven, so you got dual Wolf ovens, and then your microwave. Your fridge over here, check it out. We just saw this in the New York house that we did. It's like the spice rack, just completely hidden. And then a really, 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 really cool feature is that, hmm, look, I just want to use the cabinets. Do I pull here? Do I pull? No, no. You give it a little press, it flies up. No hesitation, no waiting. They all do that. And then to close it, boom, right back down. So you got that automated cabinetry. And then you got your two dishwashers over here. And the sink has a crazy view of the ocean. I, like right now in the background, there's a boat passing and it's just got the complete blue water side. And this gives you natural light. It makes this room feel a lot more open. And then you got recessed lighting, the light fixture in here, and this beautiful finish on the kitchen countertop continues on this island. And this island is huge. I mean, they only have four seats here, but look at the space between them, the size of the seats, look how much eating room they have. I mean, the place is immaculate. So before we go into the TV family room, follow me this way. I wanna show you the last part of the kitchen in here. This is like your butler's pantry service room. So you got a place to prepare food, another fridge and freezer, coffee machine, microwave. You got your washer and dryer over here and storage throughout. It's a great place to prep or get the party ready, leave all the ingredients and whatnot in here and then entertain outside. But now let's go take a look at the TV room. So in the TV room, you got the two sofas, couple sitting chairs and the iconic Porsche window above the pool. So I'm looking out, I'm just seeing the horizon where it just gets blurry in the distance of the water. But before we get down there and show you outside, let's finish up the living space down here. So we're gonna come into this room on my right, you have the closet. And then as I walk further down, 
I'm looking at a floor to ceiling view. It's everywhere. It follows you around. You got floor to ceiling view of the water on this side, and then it takes you into your ensuite. You got the walk in shower, the automatic Toto toilet, and that crazy design in the sink once again. And the thing I like about this is that even though you're sitting right here and your guests are right over there, you have motorized shades that come down. So all I have to do is click one button and then you get this privacy. So a lot of people say, oh my God, like why would I want to take a shower? People are right there. You don't have to. You got the privacy right here. I'll stop it before it goes all the way down because we, we want that open. We don't want anything obstructing our views. So follow me back over here. So off the TV family room, it's time to show you one of the most magnificent parts. One of the selling points of this unit is this patio, the view, and uh, let me take you out there. So like I said, not only was the inside gut renovated completely by this owner, he also did the outside as well. So the features and the stuff that you're about to see out here, this is the only place you're gonna see them in this building. But let's just start with the basics. Just a view that when you look at, you feel thankful for. It just, it feels like a simulation. It doesn't even seem real. And then right over here, this is an outdoor chef's kitchen. You got the wolf grill right here. You have a wolf toaster oven. You have two separate wolf burners, a wolf deep fryer. <laughs> wow. And then you got the Sub-Zero fridge below. If this wasn't impressive enough, you also have just a couple, just a very casual sitting right here, looking out into the water. And the cool thing is, is that they actually have a window, like an outdoor window. So if you're sitting here, if it's raining, if it's windy, you're completely closed off. You can enjoy it without getting wet or it being too loud. It's completely, completely closed off. And then you even have access right back into, into the living room. So if you need to go to the bar, which is probably going to happen a lot, you're out here cooking, you just open this thing up, get a couple of drinks, come back out. But one thing I'd like to note it, like point out, and I'll hold my mic up, you think I'm lying, look at this. It's dead silent out here. There is no sound of wind. I'm, t I'm actually talking just like how I would talk inside or downstairs. It's coming down, the only thing I'm hearing right now is the crackling of the waves down below and you have surround sound speakers for out here as well. So if you're entertaining, which you're definitely gonna do if you live here, you got the best setup ever. This building's also facing as you can see, no other buildings in front of us, so you got that complete privacy. And back to what I was saying earlier about him redoing every square inch of this place, in the pool, there's a mosaic scenescape, almost like an aquarium down there. TV right here, so you know the vibes. You're sitting out here, a couple drinks, eating some burgers up top with your friends, your family. You got the game, the movie, the TV series, just music in general, it, I mean, this is just this is like an outdoor spa. And then you have those, I love how they have the grass and the moss looking thing on the wall. It just, it, it kind of makes you forget that like you're in a condo 44 stories up. I just feel like I'm at some outdoor oasis spa. And then down at the end where the stairs are to get into the pool, this is like your final uh, end place where you're gonna lounge. And the cool thing is you get another TV on this side and access from the living room. Just like back over there, there is no sound of wind over here. So this is a place where you're just gonna Enjoy the open ocean, but I think I should let the scenes speak for themselves. I mean, how do you describe something that looks like this? It's not possible. It's not possible. But now that I showed you the first floor, follow me upstairs. I would love to show you the second floor because it doesn't stop here. In fact, it gets even better. Follow me. Okay, well, up with the second floor, as if it couldn't get any better. Eat that view up real quick, eat that view up. Just wanna take it all in, the TV, the chandelier, the two-story, 21-foot-high windows, and then look where we are. We're like an upstairs game room, but before we go down there, the master is right behind us. Or should I say that for last? What do you think? Yeah, okay, well then here we are in the game room. So here you have a little sit-down poker table, eating table, nice little, chill spot, but on my left, boom, pool table. I'm not gonna mess up, it looks like art right now, but I would hit a, hit a few, but 
boom, you got your pool table. And then just behind me, you have an 8K TV on the wall. The best part is, is if, you, if it's time to watch a movie, TV show, music, you actually have surround sound speakers. The subwoofers are right there, but you can't see the surround sound speakers. That's because, and I've never seen this before, they put a layer, like a very thin layer above the speaker. So it's hidden, you can't see them, but you get the greatest sound. And this whole house has been sound matched. If you go to any point in the room, all the sound levels are exactly the same. If you go in that corner and you're up here, it's the same sound. And that was not easy to do. And then right behind me, while I'm looking at this ridiculous view, amazing, shuffleboard. Got the scoreboard up top, but once again, I mean, if I was up here, the only thing I'm doing is just looking out into this. This is incredible. Those 21 foot high ceilings just, they look so, so good. And then coming up even further down, this room doesn't end. You have one, two, three, four arcade games. Look, they got top prizes. You got 3,000, 10,000, 10,000. So you can win some big money in your own house. Get your friends over, have a little casino night. It could be so many things. It's actually perfect if you wanna make it a movie theater room. You easily could throw a wall up and then you have the surround sound. But the way it is right now, it's really open and inviting. This is your emergency exit. And normally I wouldn't point this out, but the cool thing is behind this, you have the original door and they wanted to cover it to keep it uniform in the house. It's just those little details, you know? I just wanted to point that out. And then here we're gonna have our final guest suite. This is the elevator, it takes you right up from the first floor and then you walk in. Full ensuite on one side, closet on the other side. Are you seeing this? Look how long the room is, the room is Huge, it's huge. It's got so much space, literally floor to ceiling tall, taller than me. Surround sound speakers, look at the light fixture above the bed. Something that you'd see in a five star hotel. And then it's just like you have the recessed lighting going all the way down, the blackout shades. This almost like a little doorway right here. You can look out into the bay, down the coastline. I could see the Armani Casa building. And this is just the guest suite. You can kind of, kind of imagine what the primary suite is gonna look like. And I think on that note, I think I should show you it. So follow me, let me show you the primary suite of unit 4405 at the Porsche Design Tower. It is gonna blow you away off the balcony, but I'll catch you, because I care about you, follow me. And just before the primary suite, look at this. We have an office, and this office is actually connected to the primary suite, so you can walk in right through that door and as you can see, there's a pretty intricate setup here. There's actually the highest grade Wi-Fi you can get. There's Wi-Fi points throughout the entire house. So your signal is super strong, super high speed. It's a great place to do work at home just like this. TV up on the wall. And as you can see, this can also double as a gym and you have access to that private balcony just over there. Also look at that light fixture. Beautiful, beautiful. into the primary suite of this property, there's a little fun fact I'd like you to know. So I think I've said it before, the average is about 887 square feet. This primary suite alone is about 2,000 square feet. That's like your average three to four bedroom condo in Miami. That's insane. Right when I walk on that office that we were in, like I said, the door leads you in. So this can actually be like a private primary office or it could just be how it is right now, just like a separate little office, but look, secondary office right here, just off the seating in the room. You know what, listen, sometimes it drops below 60 and we get chilly, fireplace, boom. And you know, yes, this view is something that you would never wanna block. It's something that you wanna look at all day, but you know what, we're humans. We like a little entertainment. So let's say it's time, late at night, the view is you know, just dark water and it's time to watch some TV. Come here. Click a couple buttons, not too many, and then watch this. Boom. You got your TV that comes up and you basically just get to sit here comfortably in your bed and watch TV. Some ocean views behind you, you know, nothing different. And then on my left, just a couple more places to sit. Put up some heirlooms, the art in here, even though it's not included in the sale, it's just something to look at and be really inspired by. Let me just put this back so it doesn't die. All right, it just clicks right next to your bed. Boom. Well, you know, I'll, uh, I'll leave that TV up. Why not? It's a nice little scene. And then when you come a little bit further down, we have your closet and bathrooms. But wait, 
Look how flawless this door is. Look at this. What door, Jason? What door? It's right here. Let's go. Come on. Walk in with me. Echo. You would think there's an echo in here. It's huge. On my right, when you walk in, so when they look this way, I have two bathrooms. This is like technically his side. It really is just a sink and a toilet. But the view in here is just mind blowing. It, another floor to ceiling window overlooking the open ocean and your private balcony. You've got the sink, the tall mirrors, storage on each side. It's just everything you're gonna need. And then the uh, Toto toilet, the automatic open and close toilet. Coming back in, this bathroom, what makes it so special is literally everything. So when you walk in, besides being slapped in the face with those floor to ceiling windows and the ocean view, the same thing I've been saying this whole time, it is all this cabinetry space. A system right here where you can control the AC, lights, everything on one side. Also the fixtures, even on the faucet, even on the soap dispenser, even on the Q-tip holder, everything's just very royal and grand, but not in a gaudy way. And then on my right, behind the frosted glass, you have the total opening toilet. And this is probably the best part of this whole primary bathroom is that on my right, this is the walk-in shower, this whole thing. This entire thing is the walk-in shower. This is one side. This is the other side. And then while you're taking a shower, your whole body length is just looking at an IMAX movie screen of views. I mean, <laughs> it's just shocking. It's shocking. And then you got the motorized blackout shades if you want some extra privacy. But this balcony is private to the primary suite. So who do you need privacy from? It's just you up here. You with birds in the ocean. Leave these open. And if you thought that this bathroom was huge, you have no idea. Here's like your little vanity mirror on one side, storage. Also look at the chair, how fluffy. But yeah, you got the vanity. And then you walk into her side. She has an island in the center, wrap around storage. This whole wall on my right is storage. Behind the mirrors, I mean, no one's gonna run out of room here, just this part. And then that wasn't enough, come down on this side, and you got his side. He gets the same amount of storage. Storage, wrap around on this wall, and they both can enter in their own sides, which is really convenient. You don't have to walk onto one side, you don't have to go straight to the bathroom. It's just two access points in the closet right here. If you wanna just get the sheets washed up and cleaned without going up and down the stairs, the elevator, Mila Professional washer and dryer right there in your closet right next to your bed. So you just take them, throw them in. Can't, doesn't get much easier than that. But now, let me take you out onto the best, exclusive, most luxurious part of this whole condo. Follow me. And then on my left, look at this, a dining room, outdoor dining. But like I said, this is private for the master suite. Have a casual, private Mother's Day, Father's Day brunch, a couple friends up here, private friends. And then you have this shield, this window on one side. So like I said, downstairs, the wind, the rain, any of those things, you're protected by the elements. And then you have a fan above you to get the airflow in. So this is a completely private little corner in the balcony. And then coming further down, look at this wall. So just like downstairs, you have this on the wall. And guess what? These are actually real and dehydrated. So every once in a while, come and just spray some water so they can stay green and healthy, but that's a real wall of moss and other plants. Coming further down, downstairs we had the pool over here. Not this time, you have a, kind of like a round little, like a lounger. That means one person sits over there, one person sits over there, rubs each other's feet. You know, I'm caring, I'll rub feet. But yeah, you just hang out right here. And then what do you guys do? You just look on your right and you got mother nature at her finest. She's looking good today. Look how good she looks today, amazing. Couple seats, admire the view. The width of the balcony from here to here has got to be 10, 12 feet. It's huge. You don't feel narrow at all. And then it's just, you live at the beach. You're living on the beach. This is what people talk about when they think about Miami, South Florida. This is what they're talking about. And if that wasn't enough space for you entertaining wise, come down here and you got it again. One, two, three loungers, two seats, 
And look how beautiful the furniture is as well. See-through, comfortable, clean, looking out onto everything. And I think this little corner right here. Actually, you stay right here. Don't move. Aim it at me. Change my mind. You stand over here. I'll go over there. <laughs> it's good there. It's nice. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So this is where I'm going to end the video. If you have any questions about the music, that information will be down below. If you have any questions about this house, all of the information will be down below. Just click that link. And if I can do anything for you, DM me on Instagram, email me. If you see me out in public, see Alex out in public. And uh, anything else? No, that's it. Yeah. All right. Look forward to uh, some new upgraded content. <laughs>